Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Riverlore, and welcome back to Icarus. So, a um, couple things. Uh, off camera, I went and I cleared out the cave of uh, everything other than um, gold, uh, which uh, hopefully I, when I mine it later on, I, I will have an attachment and be able to maximize my yield from that. Uh, the other thing that I did uh, is I created uh, four cupboards uh, and put them in here uh, so that I can have everything organized, um, uh, which you know, ultimately makes crafting easier and stuff like that. Um, I also <laughs> found out that uh, grizzly bears and jaguars, this little spot over here, uh, really, um, uh, really uh, can spawn some dangerous shit. Uh, so we have to make sure that we keep an eye on that. Uh, I had uh, started a recording and uh, um, heard the grizzly bear and I thought, oh, damn, that sounds really damn close. Um, and uh, it turns out he was there. So um, I also, come on now, stamina. How about we put our food buffs on? And then we won't have that issue. Uh, the other thing that we went ahead and did is we went and created our quest board. And I went and took, I had a choice between not so good and easy. Uh, and I went and took the hunt, which is one of my least favorite. Um, one of my least favorite sets out there. But it is nonetheless a quest. And uh, because it's hard, I'm hoping that it'll kind of give us something good. Um, while I was out and about uh, chasing rabbits, I realized that uh, I had forgotten something quite important. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and build this uh, these uh, things really, really quickly. So we're going to fire there, get it out of the way. Do, do, do. Let's go ahead and put the sulfur in there. Coal over here. Great. Um, so we need to build this. So we need, uh, rocks, sticks, wood, and fiber. So let's just get rocks, sticks, wood, and fiber. And then we'll go ahead and craft that. Um, one of the best things about level 10 is that you get to create a new backpack. Uh, you get to uh, create a farmer satchel, and you also get to create a medicine bag, uh, which uh, helps free up space uh, in your bags. So let's go ahead and actually before I do that. So it looks like we need 8, 20, 28 rope. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and get that 28 rope. So remember when we made rope, we made a hundred rope and you'll notice that it's almost all, all gone already. Uh, we need seven, 12, 12 nails. So let's go ahead and create one. Go here, how are we looking over here? Oh, everything is all. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and then we need 30, 50, 70 leather. So let's just go like this. Perfect. Come over here. And Bob's your uncle. We get to make all of our bags. It ain't much of a backpack. It only gives us six additional slots, allows us to carry a little bit more, but the 10% carry weight of ores can actually add up uh, pretty spectacularly. Um, I realized uh, when I was out and about a couple of things. So the first thing I realized um, is that I didn't have my microphone in front of me when I was trying to record. And the second thing I realized is that I had forgotten these bags. Uh, so when I was out and about in the middle of the hunt, I thought, well, are they really going to want me to run all the way back there in the middle of this 
and uh, create this stuff. So, and I thought the answer would be no. Let's go ahead and put that in there. All right, so I like to put my medical satchel in slot six, and I like to put this here. <clears throat> Let's come over here and grab all our seeds, which is done. Put that in there. Let's put the nails away. And put this and this away. Let's keep some sticks to fix our bow. And I think that we are good to go. Let's fill up our water, which I think we can do outside. Our oxygen is a little bit low. What did I do? Um, did I not put almost two full stacks of oxide in there, guys? Uh, am I imagining things? I don't think that I am. As a matter of fact, I don't have any oxide anywhere. Let's pick this up and put it into the miscellaneous slot. One thing about Icarus that you gotta love is that it keeps you on your toes. And the strangest... The strangest shit happens. There is... No oxide anywhere. Um, that's crazy. Well, we need some oxide, apparently. I'm positive that I put almost 100 oxide in there, and there's no way that I've gone through that. Very, very weird, man. Uh, that's very strange. Oh, well, it is what it is. Did they remove Oxite from the game? <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, nope, there's one over there. Very strange. Anyway, so uh, unexpectedly, we're going to have to collect some oxide. Where the heck does this go? This is taking us up into that little thing there. Hopefully, we can come across some rabbits while we're out and about. I'm very much looking forward to hitting level 15. You'll see we got a couple of levels since our last episode as well because of the uh, the mining and the running around like a madman. shitty shack. Oh, 
Ooh, some more salt though. It's nice and light. And we are very low on it actually. Please. Nice. That was a recommendation from one of my one of my followers. Thank you very very much. Greatly appreciated. Of course, I used it last episode, but it's something that I do <clears throat> need to do more for sure. Uh, that is a horse. That's something we need to look at next, actually. Bringing in mounts to Icarus, in my opinion, was one of the greatest things that, they, uh, that they've done in quite a while, actually. Super advantageous. Although, um, having them not die is something that's always challenging i've actually turned my buffalo i get me you know my buffalo that i had on prometheus i maxed out his stamina and his hit points and i basically said uh go to it and he would just decimate stuff uh do i have a torch made already no i do not so let's go ahead and craft that just so we're not stuck unawares yep uh, yep. Bow's in good shape, so that's okay. Go ahead and put this in here. And then put this in here. Put that there. And then. Dun, 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 dun. That was really bizarre how that uh, disappeared on us. Okay. So now just get our O2 back. Consume, fill it back up. Lots of arrows. Oh, let's do this. So we got 92, so we need, let's create two more of these. Or I mean two more of these. And then let's go ahead and make six more and get our full stack. Mm -hmm. Just gonna have a sip, just one second. and put that away and put that away all right let's uh get the fire going here let's have a sleep and then let us go and kill some rabbits mm -hmm. how we doing over here beautiful Oh, I love it when everything goes nice and smoothly. You'll notice I took out that second... Oh, what the heck did I do here? Don't need that right now. Okay. Let's head for the circle and kill some freaking rabbits. Time consuming, annoying, but maybe we'll get something really cool from the quest. One of the things I like most actually 
is uh, I like it when you get seeds from other realms. There's some stuff that uh, you can't get. Like there's no rhubarb on Prometheus, for instance. You know, so, oh, here we go. Come on, little fella. That's number seven. I likes me a good rabbit hunt first thing in the morning. I do, I do, I do. Earlier in, uh, I think last episode, I was talking about uh, how much more challenging uh, Olympus is than uh, Prometheus. Styx is, I think Styx in certain ways can be... Okay. I don't care. It doesn't have a red patch. It's not going to blow any trees down. So we're just going to stay out here. Um... But I gotta tell you, like it's the it's the animal level, and it's the forest, because in Prometheus, I'm sure for the, those of you who haven't played, and those of you who have, um, when it comes to Prometheus, there's a lot of open space. There's not a lot of really deep shrubbery or anything else like that, so you can really see what's coming. You know, the most challenging thing I have found about. Uh, about Prometheus is the you know the herd the packs of uh, of Drax packs of Drax <laughs> that can come and get you and gang up on you and stuff and um, I um, that's one of the biggest challenges and I'm sure in the very high so I haven't played the null sector I barely touched the volcanic sector so I know that there is definitely some some hard the tough stuff there Uh, but for the most part, just general come into the game, start playing, uh, it, it is not very challenging, comparatively. Uh, Kilikia. Love it. But in Olympus, uh, you're dealing with that, you know, when there's nothing worse. I got jumped by a bear, by a grizzly. And not like the grizzlies here. Like, yeah, the, the grizzlies are here and they can be scary, but I mean, when you pretty much know how to kill them, you know how to kill them. But when you're in the middle of a bush, oh, I missed it. And a hundredth level grizzly happens to jump you. Um, it's awful. <laughs> it's terrifying. You have no room. Uh, to do the uh, to do the dance of death, uh, you know. Oh, look at all these rabbits! Oh, thank you. I remember doing this quest once before with Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Riverlore. And it was, uh, it was awful. It took hours for us to find uh, 25 rabbits. So I like that they've put this little thing here. And they've drastically increased the spawn rate in this little circle. So we might actually get this done pretty damn quickly. I've done stupid little quests like this and where the reward has been like a platinum pick. Um, so... Yeah! Oh, oh son of a uh -huh. Maybe as a ode to uh, Fisk, I should pick one of these rabbits up and uh, put it on my list. Like Fisk did in his, uh, uh, Fisk and Fooster did in their early, oh shit. Hello, Monsieur, Monsieur. Oh. 
Yeah, like this guy's only like level 24. On Olympus, the bears are like level 100. It takes a ton to kill them. Now these guys are... Now, the other thing that also... And I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this or not. Maybe you have. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but uh, we call them cocaine bears. They like to dipsy doodle. Like, normally the way that these guys are supposed to work is that they're supposed to run directly at you. Uh, and then you just sidestep them, turn, back up, shoot, sidestep, turn, back up, shoot, sidestep, turn, back up, shoot. But those, uh, the bears on Olympus, they don't, sometimes they run past you, but then they turn uh, right away. Uh, so we call them cocaine bears because they don't act, no, they act like they've been snorting cocaine <laughs> or something, and they kill you. Uh, it's not enjoyable. Oh. Don't go in the river. I suppose I could have picked him up. I don't think there's any of those. Alright. Eat, eat, eat. bench made and I don't have the so I don't think I'm gonna take that yet. I have to kind of prioritize. However Yeah no I don't need to collect any of that stuff yet. Let's get a drink of water, get rid of some of these heads. Gruesome. Um. Why can I never hit these buggers? No! Son of a rickin' strickin' rickin' rickin' strickin' frickin' That's what you get for trying to pick stuff up out of the water. Nope. G, F1, skin. Now I am all diseased. How many do we have? Ooh, 16 already, guys. He was trying to head for the water. He was. Anyways, if you uh, if you haven't played Olympus yet, and you want what I feel is the most challenge, now I don't know what their high end game is like. Like that is one thing about Prometheus is that it has, I think those are rabbits up there. Um, that's one thing that Prometheus does have, like the volcanic section is very, very challenging. Uh, the, the null sector from what I've seen and heard is ridiculously challenging. Um, so yeah, the high-end stuff on there, but I'll tell you, the, the, the beginning um, in Olympus is... And at any point in time, like, if you're silly and you're out and about and you let your food box drop so you have less hit points, um, that place can get deadly really, really quick. And I do not like dying. 
for stream purposes. If I die, I'll probably keep going. But I gotta tell you uh, that uh, in my personal game, if I if my character dies, it's permadeath. I restart. It just drives me bonkers. How many of these buggers do we have? Oh, we better get something juicy, guys. Hello. Okay. Now, can we pick them up? Yes, we can. G, F1. Alright, we're down to our last four. This is going amazingly well. And for you who haven't done this quest before, that's the reason I'm doing it, just to show you how cool it is. Uh, that is... Not enjoyable. <laughs> they block your vision like that. Mm. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of the carnage. All right, I think that's a rabbit right there. I can't believe how quick this has actually been. Three more. There's some. There's that soft meat. Can't believe it took me 22 rabbit kills to get some. Um, we are actually going to collect this. Because we definitely need it, and it only takes up one bag space. We also... Hi! Um, these guys kind of have soft meat as well. Um, that's the reason I didn't cut the wheat, is because the wheat takes up so much space, and I don't have a lot of bag space right now. Uh, yes, let's do this. Oh, and I think we have a solo point. Come on, how many more? Three more. That's a deer. Oh, I just killed its baby, I remember. What an awful human being I am. I'm here to make Ren, man. I'm not here to make friends. La 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 la. GF1. One more rabbit. Now I think with these quests we actually get immediate gratification, which means if we, uh, the ship actually comes down right away and gives us our reward. There it is. Oh, hey, 
let's talk about something else. This just reminds me of something else. So I don't know how many of you out there uh, do the co-op game, but as previously mentioned, Mrs. Rivalor and I really, really love playing together. And one of the things that I find is whenever any of us does a quest, what is this? Ooh, the gold attachment. Does avocados grow on s on sticks? Well, folks. Uh. Hmm. The only reason I'm even considering the gold attachment is because it needs platinum, but platinum is pretty, pretty common. It's not like on uh, on Prometheus, so I think I'm actually going to take the avocado seeds. All right, let's get back to our house, unload all of our shit, and hopefully not get another crappy quest like this. I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'll get to level 15. Um, and then upgrade the house to stone at least, just to start. And then we'll actually maybe take our first mission and see what that is. Um, there we go. We get to make some armor if we have enough talent points. We get to make our beehive because I can make the table that I need. I thought it was, I always thought it was kind of a pain in the ass. Like, uh, if you come here and you look at the beehive, you can make it at level 10, but you need refined wood. And the only way to get refined wood is if you build a carpentry bench or if you happen to get some as a reward uh, for one of your quests. So uh, that's always a pain in the ass. Delete or destroy. Um, avocado seeds. Pro tip, um, one of the best things you can do when you make a pet is you can actually craft your pet this uh, animal feed and it gives your pet 125% maximum stamina, uh, which is very, very helpful uh, when, when you first start out with them because their stamina pool is poop. It also gives them some heat resistance, stamina regen, you know, some really, really good things. Um, so I always like to make this. But if there's a seed that is less common than other seeds that you don't, because it doesn't care, it just randomly picks a seed when it goes to make it. So I always take the seeds that I don't want um, to go uh, to be used. I always put them in a bowl someplace so that when it comes time to actually create that seed that we can go ahead and do that. So we're going to separate things. We're going to sort things. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go get level 15. And uh, I did actually end up getting a little bit of wheat. We'll put that in there. Uh, the reason I like putting the veggies in one place is because they will all rot into spoiled plants, uh, which I know that I can get the thing that actually rots them quicker, but... This just happens naturally over a period of time. And when it comes time for us to make gunpowder, uh, then we can go ahead and do that. Uh, I think I'm going to split this up and I'm going to cook some. And then I'm going to dry some. Mm. 
no pigs yet. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, I'm going to salt this in the off chance that maybe I can get some more later on. you know what I think what I'm gonna do just to show you guys what I'm talking about very succinctly I don't know if I've done it before but we're gonna actually let that cook and then I'm gonna show you what six stringy wheat meat weigh versus what six soft meat weighs let's go ahead and have a drink of water oxygen is still looking good let's repair Dagger. Let's repair our bow and let's go get 15. Let's eat some food. Our food bus are already re upped, and I think actually. No. Let's just kill stuff. Oh, let's go see what our next quest is. Maybe it's something we can do quick. Crazed creature, yes, unless it's a wolf. The wolves are, if it's a bear, I love it. If it's not. Okay, guys, this is exciting. It's way down there. What time of day is it? Uh, we should be okay. How many arrows do we have? 72 should be plenty. If this is a wolf, it'll suck because they take forever to kill. If it's a bear, it won't suck because you can use the same dance of death. The Ole dance. Um, you can use the same dance of death to kill them. It just takes a little bit longer. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, he's way down there. Now, I wonder if he's up on that. There's a plateau down here, if I remember correctly. I don't feel like fighting anything. ABC, always be collecting, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely going to get us level 15, FYI. Yep. Okay, he's up on here, I think. Ooh, titanium. Let's see where we are. We are at G8. Let me just update my map. There it is, and I think that there is a another one right at the top of this. There it is. This is a salt deposit. 
go ahead and update my map. Let's just take a second. Uh, We know he's somewhere in here. If it's a wolf, we're going to have to climb up on a rock. Because I don't know of a way to kill said wolves. Uh, we're going to put a ramp down. Okay, page down. Hello. Oh, I hear a grizzly. Now is that him? There he is. It is a grizzly. Yes. Okay, that's the cocaine part. Turn around when they're not supposed to. See how he kind of dipped to the right there, guys? This is going to take a long time. Now, why are my bone arrows only doing 100 and something when they normally do? This guy must have more damage resistance. My sphincter is sufficiently tightened right now. I think I may have to run here and start working my way towards a rock so that I can repair my bow. here. Nope, we cannot, and we can't get another hit like that. Alright. I should have kept my ramp up to that rock. No! Oh. Okay. Calm down. Let's fix our bow. And do I have? I don't have. Okay, that's fine. Let's go get him. I don't think his hit points will all have come back. Yes, they did. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to create another bow. We need to collect. How are we doing for arrows? We only have 37 left. We're going to go back home. <laughs> we're going to... Whoo! Thank goodness. We're going to go back to our place and we are going to um, make another bow. We're going to load up on a lot more arrows because that son of a bitch has a 
crap ton of hit points. And I'm not, um, I'm really, really glad I didn't die there. Clearly I need some suture kits. <clears throat> Yikes. And that's only the medium. I've killed them before, but obviously it's been a long time since I killed them with the shittiest bow in the game. So. I don't know about you guys, but... My butthole was uh, puckered. <laughs> Badly. All right. Let's do this. If you could see my character cry, you would. Uh, we're going to call it an episode right now, guys. Uh, you don't need to see me run all the way back to the, uh, the house and do all the other things that I need to do. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, the Epic Rabbit Hunt of 2024. Uh, and uh, we did get some things accomplished. Um, but uh, when we come back, we're going to go get even with that bear. Uh, this, I promise you. So uh, if you like the content, you like what you're seeing, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, and if you can throw a share in there, get some more eyeballs on it. See if we can do something with the YouTube algorithm algorithms. I really, really appreciate your, uh, your loyalty and your, your, um, uh, perseverance and, and stuff like that. So, uh, be kind to each other and, uh, we'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.